All right, so I just killed the power to my compressors. All my compressors are not running. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, valve this off. That's my discharge line going out to my condenser. That's my condenser supply. And the other one is my drop leg. That's um, bringing subcool liquid back to the receiver tank right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, valve this off. And uh, we're gonna basically use the condenser as like a, as a vessel, as a, like a refrigerant tank. And um, basically we're gonna just check to see if we got none condensable. All right, so since I just shut off my compressors and I just valved off my condenser, I'm gonna um, keep my variable speed fan on high speed. All right, so I just valved off my condenser. We're gonna just try to see if we got none condensables in here. The first thing we need to know is what's the ambient temperature entering this coil. Um, basically, we gotta turn the condenser off, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes, let the ambient air just go through the coils, and then um, basically they should pretty much come to the same temperature. So uh, let's just check our temperature right now. Let's see where we at. So we're at about 85 degrees, so 85 degrees, if we look at the PT degrees. charts, we should be at about 179, 180 PSI on our gauge. And uh, basically, got my gauges already hooked up, uh, hooked up right here on the high side. Um, basically, we're at 206, so seems like there's some non-condensable in this rack. Uh, normally, you could probably uh, recover some gas off the top right here, off the high point. Normally, if there's air, it's going to be at the highest point. Uh, can get a recovery tank, recover some gas, and uh, see how it goes. But uh, as you see, 205, 90 degrees coil temp. Um, they're pretty close, 90 and um, what was that, 85? It's about 5 pounds. All at, um, there's a little bit of non-condensables seem to be showing in this rack. All right, so I just opened this line back up. I also opened up my dump line. And uh, got this compressor on, that one on. Let's flip this one on. So I got all my compressors back running. So uh, let's just go from there.